believe it or not, parts of the country are finally starting to feel a little bit more fall, like fall, better late than never anyway. The leaves are turning colors, the morning air will soon be crisp. This is also the best time to actually start a new lawn, oversee an existing lawn, or prevent winter weeds. Yes, Kara, they start. Uh, Kara Ziegler is here to join us in the studio to talk about what you need to do. She's a horticulturalist. <laughs> Say that three times fast this early <laughs> in the morning. And a regional manager at Pikes Nursery. Thank you so much for coming back and joining with us. Let's first start off with to fertilize or to not fertilize this time of year. Yeah, so the first thing you need to know is what type of grass you have. So right now, fescue is the cool season grass okay. that stays green all year and really has its growth season in the fall through early spring. If you have Bermuda or uh, centipede, St. Augustine or zoysia, that's going dormant now. So you do not want to fertilize those. But if you have fescue, now's the time to start. And you want to do it every six weeks through about... Uh, March or April. So regardless of warm season or cold season grass, yes. uh, which you, do you want to <laughs> mow in the winter? Get a, if you don't, get a warm season grass. Um, but you're going to have weeds. Weeds will come up any time of the year. That's exactly right. That? Most people think they only come up in the summer, but they right. actually come up in the winter too. Yeah. So this is the time that you want to put your pre-emergent down on any of your grasses, regardless if it's fescue, Bermuda, or zoysia. All right, is now a good time to start a new lawn? I mean, some people are building homes, you gotta put the lawn in, right? Yes. So what do you do in that sense? So with the cooler temperatures coming in this weekend and maybe a little bit of rain in the forecast, now actually is a good time to start that. So if you have a fescue lawn and if you have a, an already established one, you wanna reseed it and go ahead and get that done so the fescue will start growing. You can also lay sod as well. So you can lay fescue or Bermuda at this time of year. You know, we talk about average and typical a lot when we refer to temperatures. The fact that it has stayed so hot right into the end of September and early October here, Typically, this is when, you know, fescue really starts greening up because it gets cooler. That has not been the case. That has it? not been the case. We need those cool temperatures and a little bit of rain to get fescue growing and into action. Everything's delayed. Speaking of that, have there been a lot of, you know, grasses that have been having issues, maybe with so much sun or so dry and all of that yeah. heat, too? Well, with all the heat and the dry, you're seeing your Bermuda. This is Bermuda, and you can even see on this piece of sod that it's starting to brown. Is there any way to fix that now at the, this time of year? At this Water. time of year... Just let it go. You need to let your Bermuda and your zoysia, you don't need to do anything to it except put the weed control down and let it go dormant. All right, in terms of the fescue though, uh, now that we're getting get the cooler temperatures and a little bit of rain, good time to overseed or even get a lawn in. If that's yeah, what it's the do. best time. Go ahead and do it. And right. if we're not getting rain, you are going to have to supplementally water it at least three times a week and put a sprinkler on it. So for those of us who aren't really you know, you're talking another language with all these different grasses. If you are you, picking, Rose. if someone's watching us and they're like, which grass do I pick? I mean, how, you, if you don't want to mow in the winter, is that how you decide? Is that determining factor? It's well, season, yeah. yeah, it's more, I would say it's more, do you want a lawn that's green year round? Uh -huh. Or, and you know, the fescue is going to be more maintenance. Okay. That's just part of it. It's green year round. You get that benefit, but it's also. So it's just a matter of, yeah. so you know. So if you like to mow and the smell of the fresh cut that grass. Baby. There's no you other benefits or to any of the grasses? Well, the Bermuda and the zoysia are both a lot lower maintenance than fescue. Sign me up for True. those. <laughs> Sign me up for those. True. I'm going to be a zoysia girl, I guess, Jen. All right, Kara, thanks for, thanks <laughs> Thank for joining you. us this thanks, morning. Uh, we'll be back next hour, obviously, to give you tips on what we should be doing in our gardens for this time of the year.